Hello everybody, my name is Biffa and I'm in collaboration with Paradox Interactive to bring to you the top 10 mods and assets of August 2019. So make yourself comfortable, grab yourself a cup of tea and let's dive in and see what is at number 10. At number 10, we have a very simple shop apartment from Yogurt. And my Korean is a little bit rusty, but the description when translated says the size is not so big. So if you want a nice shop apartment with the advertisements around the bottom for your city, then this is the asset for you. At number 9, we have the Japanese parking area brought to us by Hakurai. And it's just a nice little road stop where your tired sims can refresh themselves with some food and drink before they continue on their way. At number eight, we have the Officeworks building by Chaxon. And for those that don't know, Officeworks is a chain of Australian office supply stores. And as we can see, there's been lots of detail put into this asset from the sign on the front, from the solar panels on the roof. Yep, a lovely addition to your city. And of course, you can use the Find It mod to find and place this asset in your cities. At number seven, we have the green bus stop from Jerenable. Now, this is not just any old bus stop. Yes, it's a bus stop. Yes, it's green. And yes, you can pick the advertisements that you would like to show on the bus stop, which I think is a really clever addition to a little bus stop for your cities. And I like, I like the cookie monster on the side as well. Gets my vote. Well done, Jerenable. And at number six, we have the Fantoff Student Flat brought to us by Seabud. Now, these are based on an accommodation project located in Bergen in Norway. Uh, they also have a built-in tram station at the building's base, which is going to make this a very fun asset to add into your city and to build around. And when you zoom in closer to this building, the details that are included, absolutely amazing. Looks very, very nice. Looks very beautiful at night as well. We're halfway through our list and at number five we have the Japanese mansions by Weya. And if you have a look at these, every single person that lives here gets a balcony to enjoy the views of your city. There's also some nice outside green space where they can sit down and enjoy drinking their cups of tea and eating their lunch. And these mansions look absolutely beautiful at night as well. At number four we have Pappy Props by Ami Palesi Funk. Now, these small but perfectly formed assets are going to bring that extra touch of realism to your airport. So whether you have them set up using the white, the red, or the combination of the two to let your pilots know it's safe to approach and your passengers will safely be landing in your beautiful airports. In at number three, we have the Markers Animal Pack by Russell17. Now, who doesn't like some cute looking animals in your city? Well, now you have the ability, either in the editor or in the game, to place all the animals that you like. We have flamingos in the sea. You can have humpback whales in your inner city ponds. Yep, you can just do anything you like and have your animals spawning all over the place. It includes antelope, bison, chimpanzee dolphin elephant flamingos giraffe gorilla humpback whale lion manta ray moose reindeer rhino and swans yep excellent that is what you want to create lots of safari parks and moose inundated forests in your city at number two we have the deep breath Kiza della Trinitade Monte brought to us by Zarix. Yes, got it first go. And this is, a, I have to say, an absolutely stunning church. It's a Roman Catholic late Renaissance church, of course, found in Rome. And it just looks beautiful. As you can see from the pictures here on the screen, the way it can be put into your city, using other Roman style buildings around it as well absolutely beautiful i love this asset well done at zarex a worthy number two spot for you just before we get to number one don't forget to subscribe to this channel for our top 10 mods and assets of the month every month also tutorials and other cool videos helping you get the best out of city skylines now let's see what is at number one and at number one, we have something a little different for you. A little town save game by Sanctum Gamer. Now, this is a tropical town 
built over the course of a YouTube series, which you can check out the link to below. And I have to say, the attention to detail in this city is mind-blowing. I wish I could build cities this beautiful. There's a whole heap of mods and assets you will need to get this going. They will all be linked to the Steam Workshop collection, which you can check out below. But if you manage to get this game loaded and take a look at this city, I think you will be blown away. It will give you ideas for days for your own build and your own cities. A well-deserved spot, Sanctum Gamer, at number one. Well done, and thank you for providing us this beautiful city to look around and get ideas from. So what did you think of our top 10 list this month? Let me know in the comments below. Don't forget also to subscribe before you leave. Don't miss out on all the other videos coming your way. And all of these items can be found in a collection in the description. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you again next month. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.